Hello everyone, it's Mike Levin, Friday, February 6th, 9 a.m., 2015, and Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday I've been working solid on Pipulate. I got this week, with the exception of Monday, to wholeheartedly focus on uh, programming and getting this done so it can be in everyday use at the office and I'm making amazing progress. Tuesday I did the generic scraper function. Wednesday I added the capability of, for trending. And yesterday, Thursday, I added streaming output to the Pipulate user interface window. And I am prepping things now so that a Pipulate server can be a Raspberry Pi 2, which I have on the way, element 14 actually reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do another unboxing video. I gave them an emphatic yes, and that's on its way now. And I also ordered the Qbox, C-U-B-O-X, which is a kind of like a Raspberry Pi, but a bit more powerful, although now with the Pi 2, they both are on quad-core uh, Cortex ARM processors, so Maybe I'll do a head-to-head -head because I'll be doing the unboxings at about the same time. So those types of things will be the Pipulate servers that will be able to work plugged into the back of your routers at home without doing any configuration, without opening any firewalls, without you know any of those port settings that you usually have to do because uh, all requests going to uh, the server can be done from your local network on the same router as the server is, so you'll be able to reach it as pipulate.local. And uh, to deal with the OAuth uh, authentication, which doesn't work uh, on local networks that are not either local host or registered domains, I will use pipulate.com as a OAuth forwarder. So there will be a momentary hit against uh, my big centralized server on Rackspace the moment you log in. But after that, and there's absolutely no calling back to Mama. It's completely private. So that uh, the mere existence of pipulate.com will assure that everyone working on uh, private local networks will actually be able to use OAuth login. And the end result of that is that pipulate will work under all hosting conditions as long as it's got internet, and uh, uh, there will be little to no configuration on any server. So you can use a virtual machine that you delete or accidentally nuke. You can use uh, your own true laptop or desktop computer as local host. You can use Pies and Qboxes. You can use uh, cloud servers like Amazon or Rackspace, and uh, I uh, I'm going to do crawling work today, very carefully controlled uh, uh, crawls, not big crawls like Screaming Frog or, or Python Scrapey do. All these industrial strength crawlers are uh, more than what I want to cram into something that's back-ended by Google Docs, but it'll basically be uh, one click at a time, a first click to initialize Pipulate, for a crawl and to get the first page crawled in and see what links are on that page. And then a second click to go uh, one click depth deep and then another click to go two click depths deep and so on, setting the stage uh, data-wise so that you can use some of the visualization tools that are promoted by d3.js uh, or d3js.com I think is the site but there are a whole bunch of great visualization tools that can take the kind of data that crawlers produce and show you things like sitemaps. So uh, doing that work for the crawl is uh, what's on the agenda for today. Um, but really, Pipulate is uh, moving forward by leaps and bounds, becoming everything I ever imagined it can and should be. And then the final thing, the final large bullet item that I'm probably not gonna get to this week is actually scheduling. Scheduling and trending are related. Trending allows you to, raw, to run the same lookups over and over while scheduling triggers them off. 
and I have a scheme by which you just invite in pipulate daily at gmail.com or pipulate weekly at gmail.com to the document and then it just breaks off that job to a potentially different server to uh, run the scheduling and that's great for doing things like perhaps say uh, site colon lookup from Google or position checking uh, for SEO and all kinds of stuff uh, that you uh, might want to do on a regular basis but not have your kind of little uh, disposable throwaway server have to always be there and on for. And the way uh, Pipulate uses Google Docs, it's really easy to peel off a job and uh, allocate it somewhere else to, uh, to schedule. Anyway, uh, that's my plan for today. Uh, uh, can't wait to hit uh, the work. Uh, I'm not producing nearly as much videos as normal, but that's what's letting me work at such a fast pace. And I'll give you some demos of the product really soon. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.